Hi, it's me, Teacher Jen. Welcome to this week's art class. So, we are going to study repetition, smudge technique, and always uh, learning and trying to improve your perspective drawings. So, what we have here is a group of a bottle of soda. And then, what you need to do first is to establish the perspective. You don't technically need to uh, put this on the paper, but if you want to, uh, you could. Uh, but this is the general outlook on our perspective. Uh, this one will be the widest part because it's closer to the to the to the viewpoint, and this one will be the smallest one, or because it's the farthest. And then after the perspective, so that's the initial. Uh, set of perspective you could again you could put it on paper or you, you could opt out not to draw it on paper and then after that one what you need to do is the block so try to establish yung block first uh, of your concept or our study and then after the block you could now place the base layer now for the base layer what you have is the top the middle part and the bottom part now the bottom part pay attention to this one that it should hit the table and since it's a clear bottle make sure that the insides can still be seen now the middle block is the main size of the bottle of soda so make this a little bit wider as you can uh, create a box or square and then this one is the tip or the lip it's a uh, a short rectangle what it does it's the def it defines the total or the actual height of our uh, drawing or our reference for today's art class and then after the block or the base layer you could now study and start working on the outlines now working on the outlines pay attention on the curve lines and the lines that you see on the left is technically the lines that you will see on the right but it is on reverse method so technically it's just a mirror image of the left side to the right side or the right side going to the left it's just it's on uh, reverse position and after the outlines you could now close this one and then outline this one so this will be our so this will be our main topic so what we are trying to achieve is the repetition so for the repetition and the pers the repetition class and working on the third fourth fifth bottle start to use a smudge technique now you could use a cotton bud on top of a shaded area of your drawing to make it blurred and soft if you want to use a tissue paper, by all means do it. If you have a tortillion or the paper that looks like a pencil, you could go ahead and use it. But if you don't have that one, I think the cotton bud is the best way to use. Or you could just roll up a piece of tissue and then slowly work on the smudge techniques. Now, while working on the smudge techniques, what I want you to do is always check the perspective because we don't want to lose this area. Now, this is our main subject, is the front part of the group of the bottles. So, make sure that this one is strong and clear. Now, the rest could be blurred, but this one needs to stay put and make sure it is on top of a table and please do not forget the shadows and remember that the shadows as it goes along it becomes a little bit lighter on this area so the light source is coming from this side and to the other side because once it comes here it will bounce on this area because uh, 
because our our subject is clear and the light could pass through but most of the highlights are on the right side of uh, the model or the reference the left side will be a reflected light and soft lights now always pay attention again to the round shape of the bottle make sure that you still uh, show the inside parts or the back parts of the bottle in your drawing so this is teacher jeng i will see you on your art class schedule may everyone have a wonderful day up until then stay home stay safe love and peace